With airports busier as Canadians travel more again, lineups stand to get longer still as Canada's border agents push for a new contract. We surpassed the point of ridiculous a long time ago. We're over three years out. Members of the Customs and Immigration Union vowed to slow down commercial and personal travel at land, air and marine border crossings. We could expect to see some delays in terms of some of the pronouncements that they have made. And what we've planned for that is making sure that we have as much staff on hand. Land crossings like the bridge between Detroit and Windsor, Ontario, are key to trade between the U.S. and Canada. Some truck drivers said entering Canada was slower Friday morning. We are looking at disruptions in almost all your stores. But more than the stores, I'm worried about disruptions of the vaccines. And as of Monday, fully vaccinated U.S. travelers will be able to drive across the border for pleasure trips for the first time in 17 months. Border points are expected to be even busier. For Canadians traveling now, the prospect of a slowdown coming home isn't pleasant. It's going to be tough to spend like four or five hours to get into your country. The union says border agents are underpaid compared to other law enforcement officers and they want better protection against what they call a toxic workplace culture. CBSA is heavy handed with discipline, uh, discrimination, harassment, uh, that absolutely has to be addressed. The union scheduled then cancelled press conferences this afternoon. Spokesperson for the Treasury Board of Canada told Global News mediation continued all through the night, that the government was at the bargaining table and that it would not walk away. So it appears right now that those negotiations are continuing. Farah. Okay, Sean O'Shea at Toronto Pearson Airport. Thank you, Sean.